Hey y'all, Donnie Keith here, a.k.a. Auntie Peaches from the Auntie's Radio Show, also on The Voice of Reason. I'm here to say that ever since my man started taking A-game, he's been on top of his A-game. When I say A-game, I mean his A-game. He's more focused. He's definitely working out more. His attitude is better. And he's not complaining of all over body aches due to poor blood circulation. Because A-game provides great blood circulation. If you know what I mean, ladies. That blood circulation. Sometimes I have to hide the A-game in the bushes when I'm out walking the dog. Just because I want some sleep. (laughs) If you know what I mean, ladies. Stay on top of your A-game. Game, fellas, get your A game. What's good, YouTube? It's your man Ronan, and uh, I'm gonna be real brief with this. And I wanted to put something out here as far as uh, at the end of the day. And what I'm going to do for the immediate future is every now and then, i got to get a set time to do it. But I'm going to do a five-minute fire watch for it. And uh, what that is with fire watch is basically you, while you're doing the patrol or, you know, you're on duty at the time. When an officer or a senior enlisted man comes through, you got to give a report of what's going on. In this version, it's going to be uh, giving updates, uh, a motivational word, um, if not just for the viewers. Sometimes I have to get something out for myself. And um, what the word is today is um, when you're utilizing the 10 life values, when you're using things as far as like um, everything that we talk about in the A-game family, um, what you need to do is literally trust the process. Every day is not going to be sunshine and rainbows. And today, I admit I was on 15, way off the scale. Everything that I thought could go wrong nearly did or most, for the most part did. And that's going to happen in life. But what we need to do is, number one, as men mainly, get that out of us. Um, Many years ago, I had a habit of holding things in. And anger, if not used properly, can be uh, a cancer. It can eat away at you. It can really eat away the best of you. And the most important thing is... You need to remember who you are, what the mission is. That's why that spiritual element is key. And as heated as I was today, well, for most of the weekend, um, you had that needed reminder that you will get through the storm. If there's anything that's constant, it's death taxes and these storms that we go through, especially as men. But that's not a platform to be used for a pity party. You need to have a healthy appetite for adversity. Because you're going to be challenged. Especially when you're trying to right the ship within yourself. But when you're spiritually rooted, you understand that you will always prepare yourself for such battles. You go into the unknown with a sense of confidence and understanding that let me first assess the situation, then address it, and then fulfill it. You fulfill the mission. You take care of business. And mainly that, number one, is actually getting off to yourself, getting that whatever that is off your chest, whether it be something as far as a hobby, um, talking it out or getting off to yourself in a very uh, neutral setting if need be and diffusing that anger 
I say for my fellow veterans, there's things that we deal with a lot. And even civilians, to an extent. That anger is not fitting when it's just sitting there. It's doing. You don't want those kind of spiritual timeshares. And before I get out of here, I definitely want to say I got much love for my A-game family who definitely keep me on point. And that's another vital tool. Find you a team. Find you some people that you can talk to. Get that weight off your shoulders. Because um, that climb upward is never easy. You're going to slip. You're going to run to the obstacles. Mainly yourself. So if anything from here on out, I just want to extend a positive word to my peers that um, let's get out here and be constructive. Let's be out here, be a positive force. Never allow your comfort zone to become me coughing. Simplify.